Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Alright, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Moon and as well Rising weekly tarot reading September 2nd to September 8th, 2019 and uh, bear with me a couple of seconds guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we are going to jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic, the very team of uh, your week is going to be the Nine of Cups, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. This is going to be the Ace of Cups, a um, quite peculiar thing by the way that these two cards are falling in such a, uh, such a, it's not even a combo, it's more like a follow-up here. Then we do have the positive aspect of the of the week with a seven of pentacles. And the last one, which is which represents the guidance that Saru is offering, that is going to be the page of pentacles. So just as an overview here, um, it does look like that many things are going to start happening for you. And under things, I mean things that you are working over uh, over them, excuse me. Uh, that being said, quite a very productive week. It will look like that the universe, or if you want to say the fate, is is ha is having your back, and it's pretty much is making everything around to happen. So before we see how this thing plays out here, um, let's run the cards one more time. So the first one, Nine of Cups here, it's the very topic, the general theme of the week, followed by the next one, which is the Ace of Cups, standing as a, a challenge. Furthermore, what we do have, it is the Seven of Pentacles, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one here is going to be the Page of Pentacles, which stands for the guidance. All right, so uh, Nine of Cups. Well, Nine of Cups, it's about a sensual joy that you're going to experience. That's my air conditioning, guys. It's gonna stop in a second. So, Nine of Cups is about the sensual joy you're going to experience about that the things are working out for you. I mean, your relationships are going to work out for you, your career endeavors are going to work out for you, and etc., etc. To a point where probably you are going to start thinking of that you do have everything that you, you want, in a sense of, you know, well, not the entire thing, you know, not the, the, the end goal here, but the things are developing in the way that you want, which is going to uh, create a um, sense of wish fulfillment here throughout the week. Now, while this is very real, okay, it's not over yet. Now, with the, with the Nine of Cups, it's very important not to take our position of satisfaction and of uh, sensual joy, just like I said, as a granted thing but we need to or you gemini need to furthermore you know um perform into it so you can secure it stabilize it and tr transform this short-term 
happiness and short-term success into a, a long-lasting one. The accompanied card here is going to be the devil formation, passive friends that we do have. Definitely you can have whatever you want throughout the way. It's simply what these cards are pointing. You can have whatever you want. You can have that guy you want. You can have that project that you want. You can have that promotion that you that, that you want as well. You know, but that is going to be just the the start of it. What I mean is that it will be easy for you to get what you want, sustaining it. Well, that's a different story. And that's why you shouldn't take those things for granted. All right. You should kind of like when you start a relationship with the person you want, for example. OK, you need to keep on being the same, uh, keep on the same performance that you did beforehand, before you started that relationship. Or the same thing goes in regards to career promotions, raises and uh, so on and so forth. So <clears throat> the next one, it regards to the um, challenges that you need to overcome here. We do have the Ace of Cups. So what this card here tells us is that these things that are going to work out for you are not exactly uh, the things that you are um, anticipating or the things that you are hoping for, I would say. Okay. So... My point here, guys, is that you need to be open for um, for every single field in your in your life to push forward with. OK, not not be selective. That's my point, because the Ace of Cups here as a challenge does point that you are going to have those new circumstances. OK, that are going to make you that, that are going to allow you to break through, that are going to allow you to. Um, resolve problems, for example, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, but those circumstances somewhat are going to happen to be quite challenging for you to take advantage of. It is because you may not be prepared because you have expected something different or that was not the thing you are uh, you want to, you would like to, let's say, push through it, okay? Because, <clears throat> for example, you know, maybe your career is on the rock, but your relationship is going on very well. You hope that your career will improve, but those circumstances happen into your relationship, which you can improve even further. All right. So that being said, um, you know, I don't know how, I don't know how really to express it here, but uh, any chance given to you, even if, even if it is over a thing that you are quite satisfied with, you know, should be also, um, taken under consideration and capitalized on. The accompanied card here, it's about the Tree of Cups formation. It is a passive supporters that we do have. So with the Tree of Cups, <clears throat> it's, a bit, um, it's a bit difficult to explain uh, because the Tree of Cups involves other people around and it does point that you are gonna find it difficult co uh, with cooperations, with uh, tackling a cumulative activities with other people as well. Okay, that being said, maybe you will have to leave some someone behind because cannot catch up or because it doesn't, most likely it is because it doesn't share your vision any longer, all right? So for example, you get promoted and you have to leave a, a faithful coworker behind because he or she doesn't get promoted and etc etc and that is going to be challenging and maybe this is why you may experience this uh, reluctancy of capitalize on the uh, opportunity throughout the week the next one it it regards to the positive aspect so we do have the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles generally grants you a time to rest in time to catch up your breath Th time to think very carefully how much you invest and how much you gain from a specific endeavor. So you can readjust, you know, uh, your investments in regards to the gains that you are getting. And also the Seven of Pentacles here points that a, a very positive, faithful event is lurking just behind the corner. The accompanied card, it is the Magician and it has nothing to do with your, um, with your readiness. It has nothing to do with your preparation. It has nothing to do with your skills as well. So you, you don't have to be, um, you don't have to be scared and panicking, you know, should you be able to, um, 
utilize this event that it is about to happen throughout throughout the week which is going to be very very positive for you as it happens into the positive aspect the magician to the seven of pentacles it does represent that you are already prepared that you are already uh, ready for it you know and you don't have to think way too much about it and the last one here it regards to the guidance that Tara is offering to you we do have the page of pentacles so first of all i will i want to talk about emotions with the page of pentacles page of pentacles may be a sign that you may have a friend which doesn't want to be a friend with you, all right? It, it wants to be something more than a friend. Let's say it wants to be in a relationship. And now that fits very well. So we do, uh, following the reading here, you know, you understand that that person wants to be with you in a relationship, but you don't want to break up the, the friendship. So you do have the opportunity, you know, but you're reluctant to take it. Although taking it, you know, it could it, it will give you what you want being in a relationship, right? <clears throat> And the event that comes around is going to be something that is going to quench, you know, your emotional um, status with this person or emotional connection with this person, which will help you to make a decision. Now, important thing here, once again, with the page is that you, sh you should take your time to analyze does the efforts justifies the results. And the last one is going to be the king of swords formation it is a uh, passive enemy passive enemies yeah that we do have here so with the king of uh, with the king of swords it also deprives this uh, this situation or this week i would say of a, a very um, responsibility kind of heavy endeavors and heavy uh, tasks as well right and also deprives it from a uh, abusing out authoritarian power it's like someone that has you know that someone that can string can pull excuse me strings over you necessarily is going to pull those strings meaning the people are going to give you a an easy time throughout this week so that's why you can use the week to to catch up your breath and to think of how much you invest in regards to how much you gain from your career or from your relationship as well. Nonetheless, Gemini, the week is going to be very productive. So roll up your sleeves, guys, and start performing. Career-wise, relationship-wise, it doesn't matter. It does look like that you're gonna be off any awesome start of the month here with the week September 2nd to September 8th, 2019. So yeah, that was the weekly reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.